We're at a customer site today installing a point-to-point -point wireless unit. They have internet in their main building and they're wanting to extend it to a control room at an asphalt plant. So we'll be installing two data cables, one wireless unit for the transmitter, one wireless unit for the receiver, and get an extended internet from the main building to the remote building. Job's all finished up. Internet's going to be demarked up front in that building, in that office there. I'm going to extend the data cable to here. We'll use that mounting arm to install a wireless unit and we'll point it towards that building back there. That'll be the remote side. That'll be the where the internet is extended to. We got that reel of outdoor cable set up. We got the extension ladder. We're going to reuse that uh, old cable for that existing wireless unit is a pull string. We're going to connect our outdoor cable to it and pull in through the building. This is the uh, network cabinet here. We're routing the cable along this I-beam. And that's where the cable goes out of the building to the wireless unit just on that side. I was putting the sheetrock insert. We had to cut the box out because the wire wouldn't go through it. Put the sheetrock insert. We got the wires coming out. Put a two port face plate on it and then use a patch cable to go to the switch. The old unit that did not work anymore, that was a NSM5 Ubiquity unit. The new one we'll be putting up is a Nano Station 5AC. It's quite a bit faster speed, more bandwidth for the internet extension. Keep a couple of both on the van just in case. Ready to terminate the cable on the main side. How's it going? It's going good so far. Just mount the wireless chain now. Point it towards the other way. I'll plug the cable in. Jordan will configure it from the office inside. Get it right there. Tighten her on down. Put the trash in your pocket so you don't leave trash on the ground at the customer's site. Got my cable. The RJ45 has been put on. The jack's been terminated on the other side. It's been tested. It's been labeled. Now we'll just plug it into the unit. Do up the slack loop. Leave a drip loop outside. And go from there. Smart work. Here's the plate that we replaced. Labeled. Real cart on wheels is very nice. Pick it up, right inside. Ready for that next one. Keep that extension ladder set up. We mounted the wireless unit on the remote side. We are now at the main side. Their internet source is Starlink. We're just extending it to the building up front. So we're getting ready to mount the wireless unit, run the outdoor cable to the inside of the building, get it powered up, make sure the link is stable, and that'll wrap it up for the day. So you can see Starlink up there. That's their internet source. This is where we're going to mount wireless unit on the corner of this building 
and it's pointing to the building behind me. On the other side of that trailer is the main building. That's where the that's where the internet is being extended to. Here's the internet feeder, Starlink unit. Here's the wireless unit just mounted. And you can see where it's pointing to over there. Shout out to Racketeers Easy Roll Wire Rack. We use this small cable cart all the time. It'll hold one reel, it'll hold eight reels. You just move those front legs, move them out, and then just keep stacking reels. Then you got some wheels on the back to let you pull it around on the job site. Very nice. Gotta go up to the side of the building, tie wrap those cables that we used to have the cable path down to get us inside of the control room. Always put trash in your pocket. Don't leave trash on a customer's site. Small things makes a big difference. room where we're extending the internet to. Got a Meraki MX switch down there. That'll be what it plugs into. This job's all finished up. Getting ready to head to the next job. Show you what the final access point looks like. <laughs> 